and we are back for my favorite part of the episode we talked about real estate i love talking about real estate but if those of you who know me know that i like something equally as much which is eating and drinking i love new experiences and what better way to show some hometown love than to welcome my guest Glenn Russell Clausen, co-founder of Ivanhoe Park Brew. If you haven't been there, guys, you need to listen in. These guys just won Orlando Sentinel's Best Brewery of 2021. So I don't care what you're doing. You're out with the kids. You're about to go to Home Depot to go do your home renovation or whatever it is. You need a break. You need to go grab a beer. And if you're going to grab the tastiest beer that I think you can get in Orlando, which is craft brewed. It's it's unique. It's special. You need to go down to Ivanhoe Park Brewing. My man is here. Glenn, thanks for coming on the show, man. That was an introduction. You like it? <laughs> I got more. I got more. You ready? All right, let's okay. go. Okay. Get your seatbelts on. I got my roller skates on. And we are off. Mayor Buddy Dyer proclaimed June 29th, Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company Day. Listen, Mr. Mayor, Buddy Dyer, if there's any mayor out there in any city that wants to name any day after me, I'll take it. You guys have won a ton of medals. You guys won gold for best Florida beer, bronze for the U.S. Open Beer Championship for Parks Hoppers Pilsner, gold for best Florida beer. Please pass me that, that can. Guys, you guys need to see this. Any company that has a beer can that looks like this. This is called the Tupac Shapurder. You saw it here first. You need to go out and taste it. You guys won bronze for U.S. Open Beer Championships, Bungalow, Belgian, Whitbecker. I, I, I can't even go through this. Listen, if you're going to SeaWorld at Seven Seas Festival, they have five of their products there. If you're going to Epcot's Food, uh, sorry, Flower and Garden, which starts next week, they're going to have a special uh, beer there that they brewed with hibiscus and guava and raspberry glenn tell us what you've been up to man how, how when did you come to orlando when did you guys open up what tell us tell us what's going on we want to hear all that you have to say and actually before you even start can we have a beer yeah let me crack a park hopper pilsner since let's you, do it you talked it up so much but that you pretty much covered everything i don't know if i have much else to say um <laughs> how long have you guys been open so we opened in 2018 so just over two years now uh, I came from California in 2016 to kind of Quiet. check the market out and see how things were going and um, just kind of saw the Southeast region as a good uh, mm, a good entry market so for good. another brewery because I actually owned one in California. So it was kind of a So how'd you go from scene. California to here? I mean, I know why all the Californians are coming to Florida because, I mean, the house price is so expensive over there and you guys have been locked in for so long. So I think you're like way ahead of the curve. So yeah, so I was born and raised in California and just cost of living, taxes, everything uh, just kind of drives How did you, you find out. Orlando out of all the places to move to? Uh, so my family moved to Nashville, so I don't want to be too close to them just far enough. Uh, friends moved to Texas, so Orlando just, just seemed like a good fit. And, and I remember meeting you when we were testing out a lot of the beers that you were going to be introducing at a location beside the airport. How did you guys pick the Ivanhoe Park area? Uh, so Ivanhoe Village Main Street has really been up and coming. Uh, the yard at Ivanhoe was going in at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, the lake house was right across the street. So almost a thousand apartment units right there by that. No brainer, right? Yeah, right by our location. So so much development going on, and it's a historic site. I mean, for those of you guys that may be new to Orlando and don't know much about the area, tell us what makes that area so special as well, too. So the name Ivanhoe Park was actually named after a water park that was on Lake Ivanhoe back in 1910. Uh, you can see Lake Ivanhoe from our patio, so it's kind of fitting that we we brought that history back. Uh, Joyland IPA is our flagship IPA, which is what they renamed Ivanhoe Park in 1915 when they had a local contest for it. So a lot of our beer names are based around the history of it. It's kind of a, an interesting story with George Russell out there, and he had pineries, so... It was just funny that someone from California in 2016 comes out here and uncovers a story. And now there's a lot of concepts opening up, like the Pinery is a new restaurant and uh, Russell's on Lake Ivanhoe. It's kind of like people are incorporating that history into their names in the business, which is yeah, great because it just kind of keeps it going. So, guys, for those of you who are listening and just tuning in, we have Glenn here, co-founder of Ivanhoe Park Brew 
call in with your questions at 321-339-1055. If you haven't been there, take a break. Take your friends out there. You need to go grab yourself a cold beer because I'm enjoying it. And I think I'm ready for another one as well, too. So while we go and transition into that, I also want to tell you, if you're interested in Orlando's really cool food truck scene, there's so many cool bites to eat when you're having a nice cold beer at Ivanhoe Park Brew. Tell us about some of the great uh, food trucks that you've had, because, I mean, there's people that come and chase these guys around. And I've been to your place when the guy with the pizza was there and there was a line going right around the truck waiting for this pizza to, to come around. And we had a really great time just enjoying hanging out. You know, it was a beautiful day as well, too. And, and you can always get great food over there. What what? what made you guys think of this amazing marriage between food trucks and, and craft beer? Uh, yeah, since being here in 2016, I kind of saw a lot of up and comings that, you know, gives the opportunity to test the market with your food products. So food trucks have been, you know, doing really well in the in the area and starting brick and mortars from there. Uh, we built out specifically to leave a space on the outdoor patio that allowed for the food truck to pretty much park and almost become a part of our building so that it was an easy transition for people to get beer at one side and food on the other. Um, what I mean, kind of bites do you guys have over there? Because, I mean, it's pretty diverse. I mean, you can get a little bit of everything depending on the day of For the, the week. food trucks? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have probably 50 that we rotate through. I mean, they're, they're all great to partner with, and I think it just kind of gives you a new menu. So every time you come, we always have new unique beers on tap that are only available in the tap room, and then we also have unique food trucks that are you so, know, so available. Can, can we talk about this one very special beer that you guys only seem to make once or twice a year? which is that guava nitro, you know what I'm talking about. So we actually have guavacation regular on uh, CO2 year okay. round, but occasionally we'll get a keg or two that we put on nitrogen. So nitrogen gives a little more of that uh, fluffier mouthfeel, I guess. So it's a little easier drinking on that. So why can't we have that all year round? Uh, it's my favorite. It's a little Name more it difficult. After me. It's a little more <laughs> difficult to get nitrogen versus uh, CO2 carbonation. So it takes some time and effort. So... I mean, if we kept it year round, then it wouldn't be so special. So. Uh, you're right. But listen, the next time <laughs> you guys make it, I want a whole cake. I'm going to have a party at my house. Actually, we're just going to have everybody come to the studio. And we're going to all celebrate and enjoy it over here because I know Eric is going to enjoy it as well, too. <laughs> okay. So you actually have added to the culture of downtown and that area. And you've actually done something really cool. You've actually incorporated, which I think is genius, by the way, yoga and boot camps. I mean, who would ever think to do a yoga or come to do yoga or come to a boot camp at a brewery. I mean, I would. I'd like to go work out and then, you know, treat myself to a beer afterwards. But, I mean, what were you guys thinking? Yeah, I mean, we kind of started it up when COVID hit and we were coming back and mm -hmm. just kind of drawing people outside. So I'm going to correct this. You're good. Uh, so a lot of the activities we do, we actually call it Wellness Wednesday. So we have Ivanhoe Park Run Club. Every Wednesday does a fun run 5K. We give away a free beer at the end for the runners. Um, so that just kind of keeps it outside, keeps it safe. We keep it spread out. Uh, yoga is the first Sunday. We do a Zumba class. We do the boot camp, like you said, and then we do a, a Pio and Pints night. So each Wednesday, there's always run club, and then there's a fun class after to either stretch or keep your heart going. And, and I came for that trivia night, too. And that girl that does it is phenomenal as well, too. And we had some, like, nice pizzas, tried a lot, uh, a lot of your cool beers that you had. So you always have something cool going on whether you're an athlete, whether you just want to come and hang out, whether you want to enjoy a little trivia with your family, definitely the place that you want to go to. Guys, if you heard me crack open this beer, it's called the Tupac Shapporter. Tell us a little bit about this because this can is super cool. So Tupac Shapporter we actually brought on uh, from the beginning. It was supposed to be just kind of a seasonal winter beer because it's hot in the summer. It's a little bit cooler nights in the winter that allow for cracking a darker beer. Tastes like chocolate a little bit or something. Yeah, it definitely is chocolate, coffee, roastiness. Yeah, yeah, it's, something like that. It's not actually added. It's more so from the malts that we create with it, but that's the flavor profile that we're trying to go for. Um, this one ended up winning a gold medal at Florida Best Beer Fest. That's so cool. So that's when we decided to bring it on year-round. Um, I'm, I'm sure Tupac would be really happy to know <laughs> that he has a beer named after him in Orlando, Florida. There you go. So it is a dark beer by color, but the mouth feels a little bit lighter, so... It's still, you know, people enjoy it in the summertime. In a time like this, support local. There's a lot of people that couldn't make it through uh, the pandemic and have had to shut their doors. We're really proud and want to celebrate and recognize 
uh, businesses like this that have been recognized by our city as being the best brewery in town. So if you haven't been, go visit them. How can they come and find you? Where are you located? And what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? So the actual address is 1300 Alden Road. Uh, we are in Ivanhoe Village. So if you know where Lake Ivanhoe is, we're right on Alden behind there. The yard's been going up there. So it's pretty easy to spot now. Um, easiest way to follow us is social media, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. It's just Ivanhoe Park Brew uh, is the handle for all those. So just go ahead and follow us on there or message us, and I'm pretty quick on responding. And you were pretty quick yesterday when I reached out to you. I mean, I saw your post on Instagram, and I'm like, listen, I need to have this guy on my show. Like, and So I called you, and, and you responded right away. You were like, hey, uh, yeah, what do you need from me? What? And you wanted to like plan it out because you guys are so busy all the way out to april i'm like no man you guys just won this award i need you on my show tomorrow you're like no problem i'm gonna be there so for those of you guys out there that are listening i wish you could taste this thing it's delicious but if you want to subscribe to their newsletter receive all the updates get all the news on their special beer releases events and a whole lot more just go to their website what's your website website www.ivanhoeparkbrewing.com and social media the Ivanhoe Park Brew handle. You guys heard it here first. This is Dawood Bedrosian from Real Sense Now. You can always catch me at www.realsensenow.com. My social media handles are Dawood Bedrosian. That's D A W O O D. And my last name, Bedrosian, B E D R O S I A N. I'll be more than happy to help let you know what your house is worth, find out what value we can add to the improvements that you want to make, or just catch me. With uh, out of for a beer at Ivanhoe Park Brew, I'm enjoying this beer too much. I just want to wrap this show and go over to your place and have a drink, That's guys. Tough. Thank you for joining me. Tune in next week. We're here every Saturday between 11 to 12, guys. Let's go to Ivanhoe Park Brew for beer. <laughs>